Hi everybody, welcome back to NFTV and we are proudly sponsored by One Football. Their app is the best around in terms of football, keeping you up to date with all the news, transfers. Now we are expect to have a very, very busy transfer window, so make sure you download the One Football app to keep up to date with all of the rumours. Download it, it's in the description, it's free. What are you waiting for? Newcastle Fans TV. Hello and welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. Yes, this is an interview that I'm sure a lot of people really wanted in a January chance window. Fabrizio Romano. Let's just say he is a man that knows a lot of things about a lot of transfers. He is incredibly knowledgeable about all things January and the summer transfer window. And with Newcastle's new investment, he certainly has had a lot to say in January about incomings at Newcastle. I talked to him for a few minutes about a lot of things in terms of transfers and let's just say there was an exclusive in there in terms of a new player that Newcastle United are potentially going to be linked with but there's some big big moments in terms of the January transfer in Newcastle United we've seen already some of the stuff that Fabrizio Romano has come out with in terms of getting transfers right including how Luca Dean wasn't coming to Newcastle and how Kieran Trippier was coming to Newcastle so it's a Good listen. I hope you all enjoy it. Leave us in the comments what you thought of this video. And this is Newcastle Fans TV in conversation with Fabrizio Romano. Good afternoon, Fabrizio. Firstly, Fabrizio, can you give us the latest on Newcastle's interest in the REM striker, Ekatike? I hope I pronounced that right. Yes, the pronunciation is correct. And we're talking about, first of all, a huge talent. Newcastle are interested in this, in this boy. Uh, I'm told that they had an approach, a direct approach with Rain. For Ekitike. There are also other clubs interested, like West Ham and other Premier League clubs, keeping tabs on this boy. The problem is Reims, because they're asking around 30 million euro fee plus add ons, plus a percentage on future sale of this boy. So it's not easy. And we're talking about the huge talent. They compare him to Kylian Mbappé because he's scoring goals, he's very fast, he's very talented. And so this is why the negotiation is still not at advanced stages. Uh, Newcastle are not paying this, this kind of fee for, for Ekitike. But let's see what happens in the coming days, if maybe Rain will change their position. At the moment, is one of the names they have in the list, but not at advanced stages yet. Defensively, I don't know if you've seen Newcastle's game against Watford. The defence in particular needs big improvements. Can you give us an update on the likes of Sven Botman, Badashile, and also Diego Carlos from Sevilla? Yeah, so these names are not easy uh, because Newcastle are looking for a centre-back, are desperate for a centre-back, as you mentioned, they, they need a new one. Uh, talking about Van Botman is 100% staying at Lille, also the president Letang saying in public that he's not going anywhere, also AC Milan wanted him, Newcastle offered till 40 million euros uh, to, to Lille, but they have no intention to sell him in January, so I expect him to stay till the end. Of, uh, of the season. For Badia Child, the main problem has been about the injury of this boy because it's not a long one. It's not going to be six or seven weeks, but among uh, two or three weeks for, for Badia Child. But the problem is about Monaco also because they want more than 40 million to, to sell him in January. You know, January window is very difficult to sell key players and top players. And this is why for Newcastle it's complicated to, to have bids accepted. And same is for Diego Carlos. Uh, for Sevilla, he's a really important player. And they also have... Kunde that is expected to leave the club in summer if it's not in January. And this is why they want to keep Diego Carlos. They offered around 38 million, but Sevilla want more than 45, I'm told, to sell him. And so it's another complicated negotiation. So, you know, this is why signing a centre-back in January is not easy, but maybe they will go for another name, a different one in the, that is, was not in the list till a few days ago, but maybe it could be the surprise for, for Newcastle. Is there a surprise name that you know of in terms of that centre-back position that hasn't been mentioned? No, at the moment it's not, it's not something close, but for example, the player that they've been following in the last two months is uh, Udukai, the centre-back of Augsburg, that is a very interesting player. And they sent their scouts to, to follow him, so let's see if they will decide for, to go for this kind of player or to push again for Diego Carlos or any other we mentioned in the list. So it's about the strategy. I'm sure that next week will be key to understand what Newcastle will do for the centre-back. But Udokai is a player they are following and is a very talented one. Maybe it's not at the level of Botman or Diego Carlos. They have already experienced at top level, but it's an interesting one for the future. So let's see what they will be able to do. In terms of marquee signings, I feel like this new owner or the ownership want a marquee name. Now, there's been a few names mentioned, but Donny van der Beek's been mentioned today. 
is that something that could happen or do you feel that Newcastle will slow look at a marquee signing but possibly not him? For sure, they have an interest in Van de Beek. Uh, since they arrived, they always, they've been always thinking of players with talent that could be opportunities from top clubs and Van de Beek is this kind of player, absolutely. But at the same point, uh, from Manchester United, the position is still the same. They want Van de Beek to stay. Ragnik wants Van de Beek to stay. So let's see if next week, uh, maybe the player and his agents will change their position and try to push and to change uh, and to have a new opportunity. I don't see this Newcastle opportunity as very easy for Van de Beek in January market. But what is 100% true is that they have an interest in Bonny. So I'm sure that they, if they will have an opportunity, they will jump into it. But at the moment, I'm told that it's absolutely not easy. And just in terms of outgoings, is there anything that you know of in terms of Newcastle potentially letting some players go to get some players in? Yes, this is something that they will they will try to do. As it's not just for Newcastle; it's for all clubs in Premier League and important leagues. They need to, to to have outgoings to have new signings. So I'm sure that in the coming weeks they will have something at this point. At the moment, the focus in, is on new signings because they need to to have new faces, new players, and in particular in the defense, as you mentioned. So I'm told that into the board they are working to have the new centre back into maybe Wednesday or Thursday, but they want to have him as soon as possible. So I'm sure that Monday, Tuesday will be really busy with the new signings and then outgoings maybe in the final week of the window, they will have some, some opportunity at this point. And just finally, Fabrizio, do you see Newcastle now as a powerhouse in terms of going forward? If they can stay up this season, do you think Newcastle could eventually you know, get to the very top and be a real in uh, dominant force in the transfer market? Yes, I think yes. This is the project. It's going to take time, of course, because when you arrive and you have to build a new mentality, a new idea, a new project, it's going to take some time. And also, it's about also the contrast of players. You have to build something on this point that is not easy when you're jumping during the season. Uh, you have to save the season, the current season, and then to build something for the future. So it's not a super easy process. In my opinion, maybe it's going to take two years, something like this, to see Newcastle look for European football. But I'm sure that this is the intention. This is the plan. And so my answer is yes, I see Newcastle working in this direction. Uh, they, they want to sign important talents and not just experienced players as they did with Kieran Trippier, who is a fantastic signing, but also young talents. We mentioned Ekitike. These kind of players are key to build something for the future. They want to do it. I'm sure that summer will be more than interesting for Newcastle. So let's see what's next. Fabrizio, thank you so much for your time and thank you for coming on to Newcastle Fans TV. Thank you. Wishing you all the best to you, the channel, and Newcastle Fans. Thank you. Ciao. So yeah, that was me talking to Fabrizio about all things transfers. So first things up, Ekatike. Newcastle are interested. Newcastle do want him. The new Mbappe. Are oh, Newcastle going to sign a new Mbappe? That'd be interesting to see how that one develops. And defence needs a massive, massive rebuild. Let's be honest. You know, we've seen a few errors from a lot of Newcastle defenders this year. And I've mentioned three defenders, but another defender that was mentioned, Felix Udukai. I hope I pronounced that right. I don't know if I have, but if I haven't, tell us in the comments below. And what do you make of that? Do you think that Newcastle could potentially get a gem in Felix Udukai? Again, the Augsburg central defender, 24 from Germany. Only made five Bundesliga appearances. It's a gamble by Newcastle United to potentially get someone like him. Or should Newcastle go all out for a Botman, for a Badashile, for Diego Carlos? 45 million euros at least for Diego Carlos, according to Fabrizio Romano. We've also mentioned marquee signings. You've seen that. Donny van der Beek, could he be at Newcastle as well? Fabrizio's not as sure. But I hope you've all enjoyed this interview because, you know, it's something that we wanted to do in January is to get an, an, a name like Fabrizio on the channel. I hope you've all enjoyed it. And if you can tell us what you thought of this interview, I'd be greatly appreciated. And I think the next 10, 14 days are going to be really, really crucial in regards to the January transfer window. And hopefully Newcastle can get a few signings as well. If you'd like us to do this in the future, let us know in the comments below. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed doing the interview. Really, really uh, enjoyed talking to Fabrizio about all things Newcastle and transfers. And hopefully get to do it in the future. Um, Hopefully, if Newcastle's still in the Premier League in the summer. But after yesterday's performance, who knows? But please like this video and subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV. We're on the road to 40,000 subscribers here on Newcastle Fans TV. With any little help from yourselves, hopefully we can get there one day. Thanks very much and enjoy your evening.